Right now is a very challenging time for everyone in Delaware County and everyone around the world. We're having some challenges of our own. There's been an increase in the amount of tonnage that we're receiving. Everybody's home and they're cleaning out their garage or their house and cleaning up their properties, which is great, but it's leading to a huge increase in the amount of CND that we're receiving at our facility. C&D includes any kind of bulky debris, mattresses, your furniture, hoses, Christmas lights, anything that's not going to do well in our composting facility. Recyclables have remained very steady, but a lot of our restaurants and commercial accounts have been shut down. So those materials that are coming in, they're coming in from individuals, which leads to an increase in the number of people coming in. So we have a lot more traffic. We're still operating, still accepting all the material, providing all the services that we always have. But we are doing that on a reduced staff. We have a direct to reduce our staff by 50%. At the same time, we're still trying to maintain the same level of services to the public. It would be better if you came in with larger amounts and make fewer trips. There's a few ways that people can help us out. If you're doing a clean out, you could hire a roll off box, fill that up as you will, and then they'll come and remove the whole thing. It reduces the number of times that you need to come into the facility. Another way that you can help us out is by hiring a curbside pickup service. Another thing that you could do to help out would be if you have extra storage in your house to store your recyclables for a limited period of time. We're having challenges sorting all the material that are coming in. Your recyclables, once they're cleaned and rinsed out, your clean outs from your garage or your basement, those are very stable waste streams. If you could hang on to those for a little while, that would be very helpful. Save it up, bring it to us in large chunks. If your township has a transfer station or if you have a question about that, they all have slightly different services and definitely different hours. You should contact your town clerk. We're not accepting cash at the moment. Sorry for the inconvenience, but we are accepting credit cards for single use transactions. So if you have some bulky debris, or some asbestos or something that we charge for and you're just using our facility for a single use, you're free to use a credit card. If you're making multiple trips, we highly encourage you to set up a prepaid account and you can do that through contacting our main office. We're encouraging all of our visitors to just kind of do your business as safely as possible. We want people to take their time, but don't linger. So we're trying to keep the facility safe. We're trying to encourage people to keep that six foot minimum distance, to wear their masks and to decrease the number of trips that they're having to make.